Here is an image of cells stained in green and nucleus in blue. We will use ImageJ software to segment the cells from one another, count the number of cells, and measure their areas. Open the image of interest using ImageJ software. The first step is to change the image type into an 8-bit image. Change the brightness and contrast of the image if required before changing the image type. Since we require two of the same images, therefore, create a duplicate copy. Now, we have two images of the same. Select the first image and click on Process and Find Maxima. In the Find Maxima window, select the Preview Point selection. A number of points are selected in the image. In the Output type, select Segmented Particles. To perform a correct selection of the cells in the image, change the value in the prominence. Select the prominence such that all the individual cells are marked. Once the parameter is set, click OK. The output is a mass image. Save this image by clicking on File, Save As, and select any format of your choice. Assign a name, for instance, Image 1, and then Click Save. Now, the image have been saved. Select the duplicate image and adjust the threshold. Set the threshold such that the cells are completely red in color with a black background. Now, click Set. To achieve smooth edges of the cells, click Process and Smooth. Now, in the threshold window, click Apply. Save this image as before with a new name for the file, for instance, image 2. For convenience, these images can be minimized. Click on Analyze and Set Measurements. Select all the options required to perform the analysis, such as Area and Shape Descriptors. Redirect the analysis to the original image. Once all the parameters are set, click OK. The next step is to create a new image using the image calculator with the AND operator. In the image calculator window, select the two images saved earlier by selecting AND as the mode of operation. Select the Create New Window option and then click OK. In this new image, there are some dot-like structures that are not cells or part of the cells. To eliminate these dot-like structures, click on Analyze and Analyze Particles. In the Analyze Particles window, select either INS or the Pixel Unit. Set the size such that the dot-like structures are excluded from the analysis. In the Show option, select Mask. Deselect all the options and then click OK. Now, the dot-like structures have been eliminated. If this mask image has gaps within the cells, these gaps can be filled. Select Process, Binary, and Fill Holes. Now, select Analyze and Analyze Particles. Some of the parameters may require alterations, such as the Show option that can be changed into Outlines. Select the options like Display Results, Clear Results, and Summarize and then click OK. In the summary window, the total count of the cells is displayed as 12 in number. In the results window, each cells are assigned with a specific number that corresponds to a particular cell in the image for identification. The results window also shows the area and other specifications. In this way, all the cells can be analyzed Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more such videos.